Hey Anna. Hey Jay, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Are you free to talk? Yeah, what's up? Um, I just wanted to talk to you a bit about John. The thing is, it's like we go on all these expensive holidays and he takes me to these amazing restaurants and buys me all these things, but I never see him and I just kind of want to spend time with him. I'm, I'm always there for him, but I just, I don't know, I just, I wanted your advice. Hey John. You alright Jay? Yeah, I'm good. Look, I just wanted to talk to you, like, it was my birthday last week and, like Anna, she didn't even do anything for it. <laughs> like, cause I feel like I put in all this effort for birthdays, anniversaries and everything. She just doesn't tell me how she feels, like, I put in all this work, she doesn't even notice. This happens in relationships all the time. We speak in different love languages. We end up giving people what we want rather than what they want. So Anna, you're really looking for time. You're really looking for someone to be there, but he's giving you gifts. But you actually really want words of affirmation and encouragement and support. But what you're getting is time and acts of service. So you speak in different languages. Love can be expressed in all of these languages. But when you're speaking in your own and she's speaking in hers, you end up miscommunicating and you end up not understanding each other. So what you need to understand, John, is that actually what Anna needs is your time. She doesn't want your money, she doesn't want all of that. She actually wants your love and your sincere effort. And Anna, what he actually wants is that he wants to feel that you care through your words. He needs that support, he needs to hear it from you. And remember, love is not something that you do for yourself, it's what you do to serve others. <laughs>